Hey, Shalom, I want to give all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, salutations to you, sir. Sir, I came out there pushing the truth across the four corners of the earth. I'm the brother Shaman of Great Millstone, Chicago, and I just got a quick hit because uh, I was meditating upon something. Um, if you're not speaking this word, if you're not speaking this truth, and you're not speaking this way, this light, Excuse me, this life. All right, which is this light too. This truth is the light as well. Okay, if you're not dealing with this wine, this bread, this uh, uh, temple, all right, then you're, you're dealing with the ways of uh, death and you're dealing with the ways of darkness. All right, and what does the scripture say? If they speak not my word is because there is no... Then let's get that. Let's get that and let's get a couple other ones. All right, because ultimately what, Sirach 27 and 9, all right, the, bur the birds will resort unto their like, so will truth return unto them that practice in her. And the thing about it is Esau has so many holes in everything he does because there are so many lies interwoven in to uh, what, what is actual truth. All right, and such is the case with him and such is the case with... Uh, everything that they do all right and that's why there's so many divisions in that house because they've dealt deceptively with each other all right through uh defamation through uh, uh killing each other off and, 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 and you know all of this uh you know fraudulent shit that they do okay from the way that they handle and approach and deal with everything all right? they charge each other usury all right they they deal with each other's women all right, there can never be any real trust between them. And that's why there will always be divisions in their house, which is being stirred up and is being pressured by these different uh, plagues that are, that are going out worldwide. OK. And which is going to be set off by these different wars, which are about to be set off. All right. And their final attempt to try to bring everything under their their control. And it's going to fail miserably. And the thing is, they ain't been tagged for this long because the Heavenly Father has been allowing them to, to build up. All right, their sins are going up to heaven. Okay, it says, As the lion lieth in wait for the prey, so sin for them that work iniquity. All right, so there you go, man. As a lion, life, a lion lieth in wait for the prey, so sin for them that work iniquity. All right, so ultimately, like we say, it's, it's, it's like as the scriptures read, it's because of... Uh, the Lord has kept them up in a position <clears throat> and now uh, this is this is Isaiah 8 and 20 All right, to the law and to the testimony if they speak not according to this word it is because there is no light in them All right, so no matter who's doing what podcast what shows uh, CBX Fox News whoever if they're not speaking according to this law and to the testimony, then <laughs> there is no light in them. All right? And that's going for, for whoever and whatever. Because right? you got you got you got millions of people who have an opinion, an idea. Look, if you're not under this law, if you don't have a fear of the Heavenly Father, if you're not calling on the name of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, why Rakakadash, Okay, if you're not praying, if you're not uh, meditating upon these things that are coming, then you, you're not going to dwell under the shadow of the Almighty. All right, and ultimately, those men, the men of the Lord, they're going to be that defense. All right, they're going to be like that fine wedge of, 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 of gold. They're going to be that refuge. Okay, that's why these women are going to choose up and say, hey, let us call ourselves by your name. Right, that's why. So everybody has an opinion, and I feel like everything works like this. So you can you can, you can sit here and watch YouTube all day, every day, and never be edified. You can sit here and do folly all day, every day, video games and, and rap and this, and movies. And you can spend your life doing all that shit. And not be edified because you're not hearing the words of the Lord. 
Right? That's what we're here to, to focus into. We're not here for entertainment. Right? And that's why we're seen as uh, outcasts, out off Luke 6 and 22, blessed are ye when men shall hate you and when they shall separate you from their company and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake. All right, so blessed are you when these things happen. You're blessed. Because <laughs> that's, what's, that's what's happening, man. The birds are resorting to their own like. Look, we're going to resort to who we resort with. We're going to agree upon this. The house of Esau, you see they have divisions. Uh, you see it's, it's, it's multiple divisions, man, because there's so much lying. There's so much deception. Nobody knows who to believe. Nobody knows what news source to believe. Nobody knows who's telling the truth, who's trying to, you know, come up, who's trying to scam, scheme, rob. I see they did it to us. Everything was cool. Everybody turned the eye, whatever. But then now they're doing it on a worldwide scale to themselves and to the, all their partners. All right, these nations, they're going to hate the whore, man. They see the deception. They see the, the, the wine that they've drunk in. Like, damn, we really followed these people. All right, hey, Psalms 12 and 3. The Lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaketh proud things. Who have said, with our tongue we, will we prevail, our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? All right, the Lord is going to cut off these flattering lips. The Lord is going to cut off these liars. For the oppression of the poor and for the sighting of the needy, now will I arise, saith the Lord. I will set him in safety with him that puffeth at him. All right, ultimately, when it talks about the poor, man, it's talking about the elect. <laughs> All right, those who are poor but were rich in spirit. All right, the words of the Lord are pure words as silver tried in the furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. That the wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. And that's the thing. The vilest men are being exalted to the top. Reading off their script. And then when they come out, of course, all of the wicked from amongst our people, they come out. But guess what? You guys have had a chance to speak and it's found that you guys are lying. Or you guys are not telling people the, the, the full truth about who they are. All right, this whole, this whole year has been about that, man. The Lord said, okay, well, you want to hear a movie star, a rapper? You niggas want to sit up and an and, uh, uh, NBA player? All right, you niggas want to sit up and listen to listen to uh, uh, rap and, and play 2K all day? Well, shit, look, I'm going to bring the truth out in that from, from people in these different industries. Here's the truth. Here's the word. Here you go. I'm going to make him say it. And then people will see that. What? And then, boom. Now they're, they're, they're sealed just that fast. All right, the Lord. Hey, the Lord... The Lord really had mercy. Right? He didn't have to do that. He could have just had it where it was coming out through the, the men of the Lord on the streets every week. All right, but that's the Lord. That's the power of the Lord. He could do that. He can make you say something. He can program you in the nighttime and have you get up. Boom, boom. Right, that's why it says Wisdom of Solomon 1 Is that what I want? Yep, Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 3 For forward thoughts separate from the Most High And His power when it is tried Reproveth the unwise For into a malicious soul Wisdom shall not enter nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will free, flee deceit and remove from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide when unrighteousness cometh in. 
For wisdom is a loving spirit and will not acquit a blasphemer of his words. For the Most High is witness of his reins and a true beholder of his heart and a hearer of his tongue. And when you deal with unbelief, when you deal with unbelievers, you know what you see a lot? Deceit, lie. Like you said, the Holy Spirit will flee deceit. The deceived and the deceiver are both his. Right? It's, that's what it comes down to, man. You, they, the elect is going to be a file with no guile in their mouth. They're going to speak the truth. Right? And, and the full truth, too. To the law and to the, you know. And one, one jot and one tittle will not pass away. Nothing's going to pass away until these things be be done, be fulfilled. Right, and that's how you filter out a lot of things, man. People can speak and people can say whatever they want to say. Okay, the ear tribe meet. Or the ear tribe words as a, a was it the tongue tribe, different venisons. All right, but if they're not speaking according to this book, no matter how many views they got or how they said it or whatever, it's because there is no light in them. And that's just what it is. All right, so don't don't be fooled, man. Don't be deceived. You see somebody coming up you know, for a Passover, the solemn assembly, riding on a horse. Like, come on. I think I think the horse, I think it was some I think it was some Edomites that was guiding the horse in. I could be wrong. Thought I saw an Edomite. You know, what was that for? Is this man saying, you know, the, the things that are written? Or am I impressed with his persons? Am I impressed with this act? And am I impressed with this these garments and all this venue? Are they speaking the things that are written in this book? All right, are you being Percy? Hey, are, are, are people separating themselves because you speak and because you live a certain way, because you don't believe in certain lifestyle, because you got a beard in your face and you don't eat this kind of food, right? Does your family, you know, separate because you have a certain stance or certain things which the Heavenly Father has given us the understanding on? That's a part of it. All right, this ain't just about a, a popularity contest, a party. It's a balance to it. You know, it's a cross to bear. Hey, the Lord, hey, we're bearing the same cross as our, our Lord. You got people who follow him and loved him for the words he spoke. But then you had people who hated him. But they knew and they saw his works and his miracles. So there's nothing they could really say. You know, but they could lie on him though, which many of them did. Right? And we know that's the trait of the wicked. All right? Psalms 31 and 18. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. Lord willing, it's edifying. Shalom.